What's going on everybody? Pimpin's here. Um, trying to answer some questions that people have about No Man's Sky Atlas Rising 1.3. Uh, so what this is about is when you know when you get that new multi-tool and everything, you have to install the visor and everything. And um, what happens is you know you get the visor going, and people don't really realize just how what, how much useful it is besides scanning creatures and sentinels, as you saw there. If you look, you can also see it shows how much time you can survive a in the wild before you need to recharge your shields or anything like that. Um, you have, you know, multiple items where the game now has multiple um, elements. You can scan buildings. The more buildings you scan, the more they unlock as white dots when you're flying around. It's actually very helpful. This is basically just to show that they appear everywhere. That's all this video is about. Um, just when you're exploring, you go in, scan the waypoint, scan the building, scan everything. Like, I, that's all I've been doing lately is just scan, 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 scan. And then these white dots start appearing the more buildings I've been scanning. So, that's all I can suggest. Like, the, the multi-tool is a very beautiful, the multi-tool visor scanner is a beautiful, beautiful item in the new patch. I mean, it may have always been this way. But now it's just really nice. Like, see, I'm about to pull up on a trade post. And then another one's a drop pod. And then I can, like, it helps you to find buildings quicker and faster and easier. Um, and then, like I said, like, when you do scan, if you pay attention to the stuff that's on the side, like, it shows a lot of the stuff in the game has two elements, like platinum, or not, sorry, not platinum. Well, platinum's hidden inside of iron. Plutonium has Thanium 9, um, it tells you how long, how long you have to survive out in the wilderness before you need to recharge your shields, find cover, anything like that. It's very, very, very nice. You can find beacons with it, like, you know, you can do landed beacons. Um, you uh, each building has a number, so when you scan it, pay attention to the number too, you'll notice that. I think it might have something to do with the mapping as well, but I think it's just getting the waypoint is all you need to do for mapping. Just one waypoint is all you need, and it's mapped. Analyze your visor scanner is your ultimate tool, and it's not just used for mapping, use it for everything. When you scan the crystals like that in front of me there with the platinum, I know I should have scanned them and showed you as well, I'm sorry guys, but you get two elements from it. You get thamium, not all the time, sometimes. Uh, you get it with titanium, you get zinc, you get it with chrysanite, you get platinum, I do believe it is. You might get heridium. Um, but even with iron and carbon and all of that other stuff, you get two elements now. You can scan sentinels to see what they're doing. Uh, again scan buildings to open them up on your hud more the next video coming up it's sped up it's just to highlight how many weight like white dots there are on my hud at once i walked around a little area around a trade post and there was a few buildings i scanned them and that's what made me realize just how important scanning buildings is so get out there scan your flora scan your farm scan your boxes scan your resources Scan everything. The more resources you scan, your thamium, your zinc, your titanium, your plutonium, your platinum, all of those, the more of that you scan and open up, the more you actually get to see when you're scanning and looking for them. The boxes. When you scan health boxes, when you scan um, <coughs> the green boxes, when you scan the atlas pass boxes, the uh, warp drive boxes, when you scan knowledge stones, when you scan jettison pods for nanites, when you scan all that stuff, it it unlocks it on your resource scanner. So it helps you to find that stuff more. So get out there, guys. You know, scan, 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 scan. That's all I can say with this video. Uh, the more you scan, the more beneficial it's going to be in the long run for you. Just, just trust me on this, guys, okay? Please. Um, <laughs> I know that sounded really bad. If you did find this video informative and you did like it, share it, you know, hit the thumbs up, 
make a comment down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you liked it and you haven't subscribed already. Hit the bell. I do live streams. Um, go check out the Get Nick Gang channel on YouTube. We have a cage match tournament coming up involved with No Man's Sky. For details on that, go check out the Get Nick Gang on the Discord. Links for both those uh, will be in this description once this video is processed and I actually get back around to editing it and everything. I'm sorry for those in the beginning who watch it, but come back and check it out once it's done. And then uh, you can grab those links in the end. Um, other than that, I mean, I gotta say, HG, you guys did a great job with this, with this update. 1.3 Atlas Rises, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. There's so much more mystery that I have to go through. Uh, I haven't touched the story, so please, no spoilers. And other than that, I mean, enjoy it, guys. Have fun with it. Scan everything. It'll save your life. It'll give you more stuff in the long run. It'll be a pain, though, too, because you got more inventory management, but you'll also thank me in the, in the long run. With that said, I hope your flights are safe. Your discoveries are epic. You know what to do. Hit those buttons. Ring that bell. Have a great day, guys. Pimpin'.